CF is an invisible illness. You can't see anything on the outside. I look like your average healthy 30-year-old. A lot of times I think it's really shocking to people when they learn that though I look so healthy on the outside, my lungs are failing. That's a challenge. Really communicating to the people around me like how dire my situation is. CF is a genetic disease and it is a progressive fatal disease that primarily affects the lungs and the digestive system. So it causes thick, sticky mucus to build up in the lungs and that causes life-threatening lung infections. The hardest part about CF is that people with CF can't be together. We can share really dangerous bacteria only with one another, but not with healthy people. And so the only people in the world who really understand what you're living are the people that pose the biggest threat to your health. As a result of that, there's a vibrant an amazing online community that has developed. It's vital in so many ways, you know, in terms of support and compassion and friendship and information. I wouldn't want to imagine my life without it. At the same time, connecting with so many other people with CF, you watch them through all stages of CF. You watch people suffer and you experience friends pass away as a result of the same disease that you're living with. I'm part of one women's group where we share the deepest, darkest things with each other. It's sort of like the safe haven where we can really support each other. Such a unique group. Like I know about these women, the way they want to die. And I know the bacteria in their lungs. And I know the most bizarre things about them, but I will never meet them in person. I know some of their most personal and sometimes, you know, toughest emotions. My path to patient advocacy was very unintentional. I started a master's program in bioethics and started exploring in an academic way a lot of the issues that I had been facing in a personal way for all my life. And I think it was the first time that it really got me thinking that I have a lot of experience and I have a lot to say and I really think the medical community and the research community needs to hear it. Emily's Entourage is a 501c3 that my family, friends, and I co-founded in 2011 to accelerate research for new treatments and a cure for rare nonsense mutations of cystic fibrosis. So we give funds for research at, at various different academic institutions. In January, we held a first-of-its-kind scientific symposium at the Penn Orphan Disease Center, where we brought together leading scientists in the area of nonsense mutations and also CF. And we put them in a room and we got them talking and sharing. And it was the first time many of them had ever met each other. What we hope to do as Emily's Entourage is not only fund the science, but also be the agitator that gets people together, that sits them in a room, that focuses on problem solving for this mutation and tries to bring together the expertise of so many different people. We really believe that it's possible to cure this thing.